Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Easier said than done, yeah? Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Much better. I'm sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. Ah, painkillers. Like in Max Pain. Hey, you didn't even unscrew the cap! How do you get the thing- worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. What is this magic pill bottle? You don't even need to unscrew the cap. Maybe it's- there's like a tiny hole that flips out a couple there of small ones. waiting for me on the machine. Let's make sure we scout out everything, just in case we find something secret. But no, it's just... Alan Wake, the sudden stop. I mean, he's a bestseller, he's pretty rich, which is why he has such a nice apartment. And we've found everything here, and... Pretty sure we found everything here as well. Can we see anything outside? Mm, nope. We live pretty high up, can't see down to the... Thing, and we can't go into the closet. Alright, let's listen to this message then. Two years ago. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Ow, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! I'll watch the show. TiVo. TiVo. Does anyone even really use TV TiVo anymore? I think they just call them DVR. But most... More likely they just probably just look at them... On the internet. I talk show the previous night. Oh. Talking about my latest book. Talk show! The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. I'm just checking out everything. Jay Leno. Dave Letterman. Conan? Pokechamp Conan. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Dallas Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. That's me. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. No. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. 
Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Boy, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more, do Sam Lake! Sam. It's Max Payne. Our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Poets of the Fall! At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Can you watch the show? I this did. Is stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want to ask me something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Oh my god, you're such a dick, Alan. She was being so nice! What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. Sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. The course is straightforward. That was a pretty cool little flashback going back two years ago. Seeing the little uh, talk show thing. Sam Lake, you know. 
the lead writer and one of the main dudes in Remedy. People who made this game and made the Max Payne games. He was also the face for Max Payne in the first one until they got like a model and uh, someone to model him for for Max Payne 2 and later on 3. It's uh, it's cool to see him. Obviously Poets of the Fall, we talked about those earlier. Uh, they make music that ends up being in the game a lot. Uh, they were the ones that did the uh, Old Gods um, songs as well, I believe. And the Late Goodbye classic from Max Payne 2. This is a long, long way to go. We couldn't have just taken the car? I feel like it's a bit of a... Bit of a long walk for, for no real reason. Well, okay, so... What do we have gun-wise? We have flashbangs and we have the gun, but that's about it. And flares. Energizer. Advanced lithium. Well, that's what I have in my flashlight. Which, by the way, I assume I have one. I mean, it's light, so I guess I don't really need to see much, but... Ah, oh, we're still running. What a weird gameplay experience of just running, running, running. I feel like there should be something here. Maybe it's just building up tension. That type of thing. I mean, it is where I'm going. It's, it's on the waypoint on the map, but... Still, though? Eh, whatever. We'll keep running. Can we not take the car? Maybe I could have taken the car. Maybe I'm the one that should have taken the car. Whatever, let's just steal this car. Why did it not leave me in the car? If I could just drive... Whatever. Let's drive. It was... Maybe it was just a nice walk in the sunlight, you know? That type of thing. Keep going. Oh, come on. Oh, well. We didn't get to drive for that long. What? Are you kidding me? Don't touch me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Into the sunlight. Oh, come on! Kill your wife. Don't kill my wife! We were just in the sunlight. At least we keep our... our lantern and stuff now. Dodged! It was so nice, we had the sunlight. Not so much anymore. Hey, manuscript page. That's something. Just one bird. We don't have to be afraid of one bird. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. No more games. Just throwing darkness monsters against me. Aw, oh, man. Man, can we still we, can we take that car? Probably not. But we should probably try. Hey, hey. We could. I really should be just like going into more cars. And I have the the headlights that I can boost as well. <laughs> Down you go. 
Where are we going? Is that place blocked? Damn it. Okay, we go around. The Majestic. We've been here before, haven't we? There's a lot of cars here. Oh! Is he sitting here? I hear something. Can we get inside? Oh, we can! This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. I had a little bit of ammunition. And the flashbangs. Well, that was worth it then, at least. Surely that's not it, though. Ha! You missed. Can we get inside here? We can. It's bright in here. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here, in room number two. Already been there. Shotgun. Oh, oh, we could have gone that door. Okay. Refundable $100 security deposits. One vehicle per unit. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Majestic. Aha! A coffee thermos. Score. No uh, manuscript page here, though, sadly. Can we go to other rooms? I'm gonna guess that they're all locked. I can't see in a manuscript page. Let's go back into the car. I think that's probably the best bet. Oh, he dodged it. Sneaky guy. Alright, let's grab the car. I, I don't know how long we can drive the car, really, but... Let's keep going as long as we can. There's a ramp and everything. Let's do this. Um, oh, yeah. I'm nervous. I'm oh, my God, ow. Okay. Heh. Oh, shit. No. It's fine, at least I can, uh... There's a light here, I can just go into this. Yay! And now I'm gonna have to fight... He's... The darkness is gonna, like, possess a bunch of, uh... uh vehicles and things and throw at me. Oh, what manuscript pages? Tip. Alan, come on. I guess we're going around. That thing's gonna be a thing. Ow. Okay, well, we got him. What is that light? What the hell? What the hell indeed? What was the what was the bright flashing light thing? Whatever, let's run. Oh, well, I just I just ran into it. Dodge and run. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Okay. Let's use some flares here. We have them for a reason. Ow! I couldn't move. Whoops, that's not the way to go. Okay, let's try again. Oh, 
I'll throw one down where the first ones appear. Which is here. We've got them. An air Another sneaky bastard trying to ambush me. What is this blinking? I guess it's the car. What? How is this not working? Uh, I mean, it's kind of working. I think that was it. I think we just wait until they all appear. Are we alright? Okay. Let's run here then. Flare, 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 flare! Oh, I flared. It's a bit late. Oh, thank God he missed me. Alright. The battery does recharge a bit, so if you don't use all of it, we'll save a little bit. Probably actually, maybe better to not spend all the flares. Oh, we'll use it if there's like tons of them that appear. No, I dodged. Oh, I don't really know why I'm trying to save batteries. I have twelve. That's plenty. Okay, hello. Where am I sta- Oh, Jesus. Burn him, burn him. And then dodge. What? I am dodging out of the way. Okay, I got him. It's all quite dark. Nice one-liner, man. You shot him. Alright, we spent two batteries there, that's alright. Aha! A car! It's so handy that all these cars are just open and has their keys.